What is going on, Luna Classic community? Today is the FOMC update for the U.S. Federal Reserve. If rates drop, expect a breakout within the next 48, 72 hours. If not, you could still see a nice little breakout as long as the Fed goes what we would call dovish, which means that they would be telling you, hey, we think that we're definitely cutting rates at a certain period of time. We expect that it's going to happen. So pack your bag, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know how they say it in their minds, but that's what it, it would it would in effect mean. Now, there is no meeting in August, so the next rate cut opportunity would be in September. So we would have 60 days before that happens. And that could be the impetus to kick off that altcoin season, that bull rush, that, you know, quick 10x for a lot of these different alts that are you know, kind of sitting out here like Luna Classic, you know, trade volume kind of low, et cetera, et cetera. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, and by the way, I finally, finally, and the rock says finally, got one of the projects that I've been waiting for a long time to start talking about, and it is here today. So make sure you stick around until the end. Uh, this is going to be a good one. All right, guys, first up and foremost, the Terra Hack. So, for those of you that know, this has nothing to do with Luna Classic. In fact, Luna Classic patched this back in May when we upgraded to Lunk V3. So, there is no issue here with Luna Classic, but there is with Luna. Luna's been hacked for about $5 million reportedly stolen. Now, they, they haven't really said outright that that happened, however, uh, although sleuths did figure it out, but uh, the Terra team has now resumed the block production. They, they halted block production for a little while in order to patch and fix it, and uh, you know, at no point did they say, oh yeah, and by the way, they stole $5 million from us. But the exploit wallet never received more than 56 loan and 7,800 USDC at a time. They managed to leave with millions of dollars worth of assets. So this is uh, a huge screw up in uh, terms of uh, you know Terra blockchain. Of course, since they're burning, it does make you question uh, what is exactly going on over here and how are you just easily hacked over a long period of time. You know what I mean? Well, you have to ask that question because, again, this was about to be to the end, right? This was going to be, um, they're, they're gone, they're, you know, whatever. But uh, as it turns out, nope. So uh, let's move on here. I keep this in mind because we're going to come back to it. Uh, now, there is uh, some, some new proposals that are up, none for governance yet. As you can see here, there's no governance proposals uh, at any point, but there is uh, this, uh, remove the KYC proposal, 12033. So uh, what somebody is now trying to do, Lunk Rocket, uh, is remove the KYC requirement. And by the way, um, I, I disagree with this fundamentally because if you are being entrusted with my funds, my money, and I'm supposed to entrust you, then I don't understand how KYCing yourself is prohibitive in any way. Basically, what KYC is, is getting a third party to verify the validity of who you are just in case you scam us and steal off with the money. So uh, I don't know how this uh, is such a, a, an issue. And, you know, if you want to be a, a, an investor or something like that and you, and you want to be random in, in the cryptocurrency market, I mean, you know, sure. But if you are responsible for somebody else's money, look, in any business whatsoever, regardless of your libertarian views on cryptocurrency and your need for anonymity, okay, uh, regardless of any of that, you are controlling my money. If I stake with you, if I do anything with you, you are holding on to my funds and could steal them away at any time. So to have a KYC verification is, in my, in, in my opinion, paramount to building on a blockchain. It, it, it really... To, to me, feels like that it should be. Now, look, if you're uh, doing meme coins or something like that, you know, I understand that there's going to be loopholes in it, right? I understand that there are going to be uh, degen, quote-unquote, risk plays. However, Proposal 12033 aimed to provide the community investors and utility providers with confidence that we do not have completely anonymous development team working on the chain. Now, they said it could be argued that this prop actually did the opposite, scared away the potential investors. Well, that's what the French would call Nutso, 
Why? Because let's zoom out because, you know, we, we do have to very specifically look at this and say, well, is that the case, right? Well, and let's consider that the only litmus test that you might have is um, every other crypto. So in the event that this is the reason that it dumped the KYC, then every other crypto is probably pumping from its March high, right? Th it's very simple. This is, this is very simple right here. March, this is where we were in March, trading at around uh, three zeros, 2025, 20, let's call it that, right? So uh, from March to now, that's a dip of, let's go on record and say about 67%. That's not insignificant. That is a, a, a big sort of dip here, right? And remember, we are a little bit more volatile than everybody else. Well, let's go look and let's see what's Ethereum doing here. Uh, and, well, in March, okay, so in March they were, it was up here and it's got an ETF, by the way. Uh, it's got an ETF. So what is it down? It's down about 21%. So uh, it, it is down, right? Uh, let's go into um, Conflux. Oh, look at this. Uh, so Conflux, the largest uh, public blockchain in China, is currently down 70%. Uh, what about DOT? Let's see. Oh, look, DOT is doing the same thing. I, I'm just randomly, we're going to randomly select these as we go down here. 53%. What about Fetch? Fetch AI. That's got to be a big one because, you know, AI is the big thing, right? So let's go over here and then let's go down here. And 66%, you got to be shitting me. Every one of these has KYC verification. No, they don't. This is a nonsense complaint in my opinion. And you, you know, you, are free to think whatever you want and however you want. But if that's the argument, there it is. This is basically debunked. This has nothing to do with the price action and why the price action might be going up or might be going down right now, or it does, it's at a very minimum. This market will do what this market will do, then that's it. So, um, and, and by the way, if I go down here, and look, here's the litmus test. Right here is your top, right here is where you are, right? Ziliqua, same thing. XRP? There are exactly three places that you need to be on Telegram. Cryptonomy Updates, where you get all the daily market updates and information that you need in order to be a successful investor. Cryptonomy Finance, to get all of the news that you need to get you through this day. And Cryptonomy Community, so that you can engage with other like-minded people to talk about what is going on in the cryptocurrency market. And do not forget to follow at cryptonomy underscore phi on X for all of your up-to-date information. All right, guys, looking in on my fixed deposits, as you can see, we've completed a couple of them right now. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin, 0.012 Bitcoin right now. That's about 0.05 Bitcoin, a couple thousand dollars in value at this point. What I'm going to do today, we're going to make another big deposit. I'm going to use 406 million Shib. I'm going to stake this for nine months. Again, I do believe about nine months from now going to be the optimal time. So 71.8% APY. We're going to continue that. We're going to accept. All right. Now we're locked in with 406 million SHIB, 71.8% return. Uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic yield. Uh, super excited about this one. But as you guys can see, what am I earning over here? I've got an Ethereum that I'm going to pull out pretty soon, 0.67 ETH already. By the end of this, I'm going to have earned 0.99 Ethereum. My XRP, an extra 2,313 XRP. Don't forget the magnificent yields being done on the ROIs right here for the launch pool. We are getting fantastic returns. Guys, you got to stake with Cryptonomy.Finance. So guys, make sure you check out cryptonomy.finance today. Uh, same thing. This is March right here. Yeah. Uh, XRP. Well, March, you know what? It, it actually had a nice reversal and it's the first one to have a reversal. And it looks like XRP is about to break out. Uh, Arrow, same thing. Um, uh, we did Zillico. Scent, same thing. Render, render. Oh shit. Same thing. It's all coming down. It, there's nothing special here. Uh, Stacks, which, by the way, if you don't know this, Stacks is the uh, uh, smart contract builder on the Bitcoin network, and it's down 55%. From, by the way, th there was a, a little you know recovery over here, uh, same as us. So all of this nonsense, it, it has nothing to do with it. But let's move on here because now I'm getting 
Ooh, stressed. Uh, so anyway, uh, KYC does not need to be removed at all. Uh, although that is something for you to vote. You do whatever you think is the right thing. Uh, then what native tokens are allowed to be used of the tax? This is the discussion here that we were talking about in the tax to gas. Um, what native tokens will be used here for the burn? Because remember, you know, one of the things is, is like the Korean TC, you know, USTC and there's AUTC and KRTC. You know, there's all kinds of different ones that have no value, no inherent or intrinsic value at all. And why burn those? Why not just get rid of them? You know what I mean? So there's a discussion being held right now. I would encourage you to go check that out uh, before we get to the voting. Uh, as far as meme coins go, AUST had a 45% rip right here. Uh, you can see here, private uh, was up 52% on the day, 23,000 in the seven day period. Very small market cap. Remember that the, the, the important thing here is these are micro caps. So uh, they're not going to have a huge kind of uh, explosive move. But as you can see right here, there's there's quite a few that are, are, are kind of popping up on the radar. People are starting to make meme coins in the hopes that they can uh, pop something off. Uh, but if you're looking for meme coins, then the place that you should be trading them, Terraport.finance, uh, because that's going to be your easiest place to do it. And these are going to be liquidity pairings, the best liquidity in the market uh, for pairings on any kind of swap that you have. So terraport.finance, the place that you go. Remember, this is also uh, where you can get the rocket token. Uh, Lunk Rocket, I wonder if it's the same guy. Hmm, you never know. Anyway, uh, by the way, my earning right here, 31. So uh, you can see here that we, we've done that. And of course the launch pad. Remember, there is something going on with Rocket over here uh, with, with uh, the launch pad and the leaderboard. Uh, so you can see where you rank and you can continue to earn if you are continuing to trade uh, in this, uh, it's my opinion, by the way, that probably trading is what you'll be doing on Terraport.finance in order to get more supply. Uh, so, uh, but let's, again, let's, let's, let's continue to move on uh, and keep this show going. Uh, Terra Classic price, 10 million in trade volume, not good. 5 million over here on USTC, again, not good. Uh, market dipping just a little bit. What is happening right now? Well, I think Bitcoin probably is, uh, I think we're due for one more dump before, before uh, an eventual pump. But we're going to see what happens. The FOMC, again, is today. So interesting times. Now, there's also going to be a space over here tomorrow at 12 p.m. And it's going to be Lunk Lover 6.9. You guys know them, you guys love them, but it's a Lunk AMA, Memes, Raycoff, Airdrop Alpha, USTC Burn, and the Lunk Chat and Chill. Now, this space will be very interesting and relevant. It will take place after the meeting from the tax advisor and, pro and will provide a guideline for Raycoff's next steps. Don't miss it. Now, remember, Raycoff is responsible for the Juris Protocol. Juris Protocol is the protocol that will allow, it's just like the Anchor Protocol, which will allow lending and borrowing again uh, in this ecosystem, which was the reason <clears throat> that Luna had such a tremendous pump along with Terra way back in the day. So um, the other thing here is Diamond Hands confirming that back in May, I think it, it was back in May, yeah, uh, about the latest exploitation in Terra money. We were happy to announce that Terra Classic was not affected since we patched it back in May with our V3 upgrade. Crazy to think that the Luna Classic community is doing better than the place where everything is actually being tracked. Now, as far as tracking goes, $139 million over the last couple of days, not a lot, uh, but... Let's go to Terra Casino because what you want to do is you want to win, right? Win at life. Win at life. Can you win at life? You'll find out if you go to Terra Casino and try it out. There's a link in the description below. Um, and, and you can trade all kinds of different tokens here. Uh, not just what I what I talk about all the time. Lunk, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum. But also, uh, you've got a few other ones. Cardano, Litecoin. Uh, you've got Tron that you can, you can uh, and, and XRP. There's a big list right here of different tokens. But for your risk-based gaming enjoyment, this is the place to go. Uh, PvP Poker Sports. Remember, college football is getting ready to start. Uh, professional, the NFL is getting ready to start. And Major League Baseball is already on. If you want to go wager on some sports, this is the place to go. Uh, and let's close this out with one of the, the, the things that I've been talking about for a long period of time, and that is Air Force Lunk. Now, guys, uh, you know, I've been talking about this for a long period of time. I've been telling you guys, I've been trying to get these guys, you know, on the hook so that we can talk about this project, but nobody ever responded. Now, I have a, uh, you know, as part of this, uh, as part of my agreement here, uh, Terra Terraport.finance, Terra Luna, Cla the, the Terra Classic Casino, you know, these guys sponsor this channel, and uh, Air Force Lunk was one of them that we wanted to cover 
early on, but we couldn't get anything from the developer. It was really just kind of uh, dead in the water for a little while, and we didn't know exactly what was going on, or I didn't know exactly what was going on. They were building in the background. So uh, if you come to Air Force at Air Force Long, new tournament season is coming. Uh, it's called the Pilot. Earn the total prize worth three million lunk. Practice your skills at BigBangX.io. Now remember, uh, this is one of those um, uh, one of those projects. Uh, that are available from one of the other uh, spaces that we, you know, we, we've talked about and we've covered Big Bang X before. Um, I want to say uh, Garuda, or was it? I think it's Garuda. Um, so I think that that was part of the the launch pad for for NFTs Garuda protocol. So, um, but let's move on because here's the game. And look, it's a, um, you can move around with your WASD format, uh, and you're collecting and you're avoiding these red things. And they're very simple. You know, there's there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, they're, they're, you just you gotta avoid <laughs> all the the stuff coming at you. And and you can hit refresh here, and you can start again. Uh, kill enemies until the end of time is kind of the goal here. So uh, pop through here, knock them down, and then grab yourself some hearts. Uh, look for falling things, you know, like you'll, you'll regenerate your health a little bit. Uh, you, your health is, what, 180 right now, 170, oops, duh. Uh, come on, get your shit together, please. Uh, but anyway, so this is the, the game we've been, ta I've been talking about for a while. Uh, 1945, it's reminiscent of a lot of different games that you played as a kid, if you were, in fact, a kid at that time. But uh, it, it's, and you got a shield over here. So whatever you need in order to keep you in the game for a while, uh, make sure you collect all the hearts, by the way. That's going to be uh, a paramount, in fact, for this. So as you can see, I am just absolutely the, the most awesome person that's ever played this game. I would assume that I am the most awesome person that's ever played. Now, this stop right here, what a fantastic uh, piece right there. Uh, I don't know what my record is. I don't know what the record is. Uh, I'm assuming I'll never get even close to the record. Uh, and I keep running into stuff and uh, <laughs> I've upgraded my weapons. But as you can see here, time runs out and boom, uh, we've made it into, is this level two? Yeah, I've won. So now it's time to go on to level two. So guys, if you want to go check this out uh, again, um, Big Bang X, go to at Air Force Lunk. You can follow the prompts. There is a tournament happening over the next couple of days. Well, that's it, guys. That's your time. That's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, go check out Air Force Lunk. I, I, I really, again, like a 1945 type, uh, top-down uh, shooter game. Um, it could be a lot of fun, and you can win up to 3 million Lunk. Look, if you want to win Lunk, that's how you win Lunk. So uh, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.